to the Kent Lap Podcast. So mm. as a Catholic, like <clears throat> when I go to confession and I and I and I partake in the Eucharist and receive our Lord, it's like uh it's like going to a field hospital in battle because we're to pick up our cross, but we're also to put on the armor of God mm-hmm. and really get out there and fight because there's a real battle happening. Yeah. For people's souls. And just you know, you see it's, that's so. It sounds so tired to say that. Yeah. You know, like oh, there's a battle for people's souls out here. That like, look at our country mm-hmm. at the suicide rate. Yeah. I mean, my sister in law works in the ICU at Vanderbilt, and I asked her like two weeks, like three, uh, maybe a month and a half ago. I was like, "How's it going? You know, is the COVID crazy? You know, because that's where they, all the COVID people go is Vandy. They're the only people who can really handle it." And she's like, "You know, it's crazy. Um, there are more overdoses." than COVID people, like by a big number. Fatalities know. from overdoses? People or just like people on life support in, in the ICU. When was it, Six weeks ago? Yeah, like six weeks ago. So like mid-April? Yeah. And I go, what? Wow. I go, wait, what? And uh, Biggest demons within, man. Yeah, man. And, and, but there's real, like, there's real, there are real, um, there's real despair happening. Yes. And when I go to when I go to mass, when I go to confession and go to mass and uh, participate in works of mercy, you know, feeding the poor and doing all the things Jesus told us to do, um, going to visiting the imprisoned, the sick, you know, all those things. That, that it's a field hospital. I'm I go and I get I'm like okay, you know, I I got I send this I send this past couple weeks and it's kind of derailed me a little bit. I need to get back on track. And it's good to just go tell somebody that, yeah, man. Yeah, absolutely. You know, because yeah. like, you know, you can we can get into a larger discussion about the sacrament of confession and like or whatever. But just if you want to get bring it down to like a base uh, ecumenical level, well, there's no, there's nothing better than going and telling somebody what's yeah. going on. Yeah, and like, oh man, this uh, I've been really struggling with this because at the end of the day. If you're if you're struggling with a particular sin, you've got to tell somebody about it. I mean, Jesus even says it. He and and that's one thing when I'm defending confession, people are like, "Oh, well, you know, I need, I just go straight to God." I'm like, "Me too," but I'm I'm also going through a priest to God. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Jesus literally, he's he when he when he says confess unto one another, he's not it's not a suggestion. Right. He's not like, "Oh, hey guys, you might want to confess to each other." I mean, it's, it's cool. Yeah. He's like commanding you. Yep. You need to confess unto another. Yes. And I never grew up with any of that. Mm. And I never grew up. That's why, in my opinion, that's why you see so, the rise of so much therapy going on and so much psychotherapy. Mm. Like, because mm-hmm. the confessional aspect of Christianity has almost completely been abandoned, even yes. by many Catholics. Like, you know, you're not, you go into the confessional. Now, granted, when you go into the confessional, some priests are better about it than others, but like, you go in there and you're like, man, I've been struggling with this sin. If they got time, if they're not like hurried before mass or whatever, they'll go, okay, well, tell me about what's going on. Like, what do you, you know, what's up? Mm-hmm. You already, you, you know, you know mm-hmm. what you're doing. Why? Why do you keep doing that? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's because you're human, but like say it out loud so you know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really need to know. Yeah. I mean, but you need to know. Yeah. So say it, you know. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's... Uh, that it's a field hospital, man. Yes. Well, what what I I totally agree with that, and that is why this cultural Christianity thing must die. It must get nailed to the ground and die because it's so hypocritical. Because it doesn't address the burning need in the culture today, which is despair and devastation, and mm-hmm. walking around with hurts yep. and broken dreams. And we thought we were going to make something of of ourselves, and we keep falling short. Mm-hmm. And we have this this drudge and this sin that we deal with, and then we go to church because because that's what's socially advantageous to do. Mm-hmm. And in the south, sm- in the south, but not just in the south, but probably particularly. In, no, yeah, you're right. And particularly in the south, and we smile and we shake hands and we do our thing and we leave, and we pretend that everything's good and we are just hurting and we're dying. Yeah, and and it's not true Christianity. And it's there's no salvific power there, no. and it's just awful. And it's one of the worst things I think you could say about God because you're using Him to your advantage, but you're not committing, mm-hmm. and you're just checking some boxes. And 
it's not that's, going to help yeah. anyone. It's not going to save anyone. People shouldn't get involved with that. That 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 must look awful from the outside because we're pretending to have the answers, um, and yet we're not living like we actually do. We're not actually living like God is real and He had a Son, Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. and um, and and we're just not addressing the real needs of the world. We're we're pretending like things are okay when everything is on fire. Everything's on fire, and that's what needs. To, that's the, what just and we, everything's always been on fire. The yeah. church was built like tongues of fire came down at Pentecost. Yes. Like it was on fire. Yes. Okay. Like God, like in the Bible it talks about like bapti- baptism by fire and like, you know, and water right. and fire. And right. it's like, yeah, things have always been bad. Yep. That's the thing. And, and, and cultural Christianity is going to die. It's already died. Look at Europe. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I yeah, mean, look, right. look yep. at, look at Europe, look at the birth rate in Europe. Just look at the birth rate anywhere. Like that, in my opinion, and that's getting into deeper ter- deeper waters, but like that's a an outward sign, in my opinion. If if a civilization isn't healthy enough to replace itself, right, then it's then the civilization at its core is doesn't think it's worth preserving. 